Hey guys, this is Lady Split, and um, I wanted to make a video to show you how to how I built my aquaponics system. Um, I didn't know a lot about aquaponics before I started. There's a lot of videos out there with uh, probably simpler solutions than mine. Um, I like to build things, so um, this is kind of a highlights uh, and how to of how I built this system behind me, which is now three months old. It's powered by Goldfish, um, and I'm starting to see some growth. Uh, I've eaten a few things out of it, including arugula, basil, green beans. Um, so it takes a little while to get started, um, but I think it has a lot of uh, potential, uh, and especially as your system matures. Like I said, there's tons of videos out there with a lot of different kinds of solutions. Um, it doesn't seem like there's any one way to do it. This is just how I did it. I um, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please like it. Uh, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Oh yeah, and right now the belt siphon is starting to kick in. So, um, but you'll see how I did that in the video. Thanks. Here's my aquaponic system. Um, here's a good look at it. So the bottom is a fish pond, and the top is where the plants will grow. Uh, it's done with primarily two by sixes all the way around, and plywood on the bottom, I think it's three eighths. Uh, I added uh, two by fours to support, as you can see. Uh, I may add some more support underneath the top box. Uh, right now I've just got little braces. It's Sunday, so I can't really do any work. So I just put some additional little little sister braces here. Um, this is lined both top and bottom with 45 millimeter. I believe it's Goodyear uh, lining. It's safe for plant, non-toxic, also safe for fish. And um, and then I just put this little lip around it, um, cut it to trim to the edges. And uh, the only hole in it, which I've sealed is this uh, uh, conduit and I tried to get everything at Home Depot so this piece right here is uh, from Home Depot and basically goes down it's got thread in it um, I believe this is a two inch pipe that goes inside of it PVC and as you can see down um, I've sealed it with another part that comes up from the bottom screws on I've used some of that blue sealer um, and we'll take a look at the bottom of that so this is the bottom, and as you can see, this is the part, this is one piece, screws on, um, and then I've just added this little piece of two, uh, PVC here. And what this is, this is a belt siphon. Um, what goes over the belt siphon, and this is the actual belt itself, is a larger piece of exterior PVC. Um, and I've cut slits in the bottom of it for, for air to vent through. And this is just capped on the top, and what this does is it slides over. There's a gap of air in here, and as the water rises, uh, it eventually pushes that air out, um, and to the point where uh, it starts the water continuing down. Um, once the water gets going, it's kind of like when you siphon gas out of a car, it won't stop because there's a constant pull of water coming down with no air going back until it gets to this point, the water drains down, and then air can come in here, Air's lighter, it goes to the top, and then it stops the system. Meanwhile, it's always pumping, so as the water drains faster than it comes in, it's gonna um, it's gonna drain. It's gonna allow the media, uh, which is your rock, uh, to get air in it to oxygenate, um, and then the water will continually build up again. Um, and this will cycle probably two to three times a, uh, an hour. Um, I have a little electric pump. It's right here. It's gonna go down here. It sits in the water. And uh, I got this at Home Depot and it was like 50 bucks. And it works really good, 320 gallons an hour. It sits right in the water and that hose will, will then go from the bottom where the fish are to the top and continually fill the water. So you're constantly circulating the water back and forth um, and the bell siphon activates as your automatic um, circulatory system or like I said, the oxygen. Uh, it's more complicated than that, but that's kind of it. 
Um, the fish tank, again, was same kind of construction, two by six all the way around. I put some two by fours on the bottom, kind of just beveled all the ed edges just to kind of give it a, a look with a router. And that top lip is two by four because I figured if I ever had to take this thing apart, or not two by four, it's uh, plywood, uh, strips of plywood. And it doesn't crack out when it's plywood, so it, it's kind of nice. Uh, I screwed the entire thing together. And as you can see, this rubber is just laid in here. Um, kind of, you know, tucked it in. Um, apparently this stuff should work. Just don't buy this stuff at Home Depot because that stuff sucks. I had to already do it over one time. Um, this is a lot thicker. It's supposed to be the real deal, so we'll see how that works out. Um, next, I got to add the rock. I got to clean it. Once it's clean, then I can start circulating water. I'll add the uh, 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 dechlorinator in it, and also I think it's some kind of algae that's good for the fish. Um, and then we'll hopefully get those guys in here in a couple hours. Okay, so here we are with the media. Uh, I chose a 3 8 gravel, and this bag just came from Lowe's. I think it was like $32. They charge you for the bag, but then you get $15 back when you come back. So it's like around 50 bucks, and then like I said, you get $15 back. Uh, if you don't have a van like I do, or a truck, uh, they will deliver. I don't know what the fee is, but um, it's way cheaper to buy it this way than to try to buy small little bags. I mean, I think it would take like 40 or 50 bags of those small ones. And you'd spend probably two or three times the amount of money as, as just buying in bulk like this. Okay, so I'm starting to put the media in, rocks. And uh, it's 3 8 gravel, just got it at, uh, at Lowe's. It's a little dirty, so I'm gonna have to get it washed out. And then around the bell siphon, um, I put these bigger rocks because I didn't want all the little rocks to get into the into the vents that I cut. So this kind of adds a little buffer and some stability. Um, but I'm just gonna start layering this in and uh, as, soon as, uh, as soon as I get a little bit more full, I'm gonna start adding some water to it. Okay, so I'm done with all of the rock and that entire bag filled it probably 85%, 90%. Um, you can see that I'm running through the water through it now. It's getting clearer, like this is a clear part. Um, but, and I'm getting rid of kind of the dirt out of it. So as I'm cleaning the, the soil, uh, not the soil, the media, which is rock, um, I have, uh, I'm just draining it out. It's not going back into the system. I've got it connected to a hose here and that's running out into the yard. Um, I need to uh, add more rock to it. So I just went out and bought uh, just pebbles at Home Depot. Hopefully it's only going to take another four or five bags of these. So total spent in rock about mm, about 50 bucks. If I take some of these bags back it'll be less. So that's not too bad. Um, as you can see again it's dirty and it's cleaner and I'm just kind of using a um, one of those garden tools to kind of sift it around there and you know it's not going to get never going to get 100% clean but you want to try to get as much dirt out as possible. Okay so one giant bag of rock and then eight smaller bags that are probably 30 or 40 pounds each, probably 40, 45 pounds each of bags. Uh, yeah, again, eight of those and I'm finally done. So right now it is cycling and as you can see the water is kind of is pretty murky, murky at this point in time. So I'm gonna let it cycle a couple more times. Okay, so we're coming up here to the top so you can see it's just about ready to get started. And there it goes on the bottom. Full flow. I've just got a little piece of uh, tile here to kind of break the, uh, the harsh sound of all the water dumping into the, the uh, tank. There we go. And she stops. Looks good. I'm going to fill back the rock and uh, start planting my garden.